Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be the Umgar homeworld. There's a guard there. Um, just kind of... Well, I thought he was orbiting, but he was actually following me. They're so slow, it's ridiculous. Um, should we just attack him? Yeah, why not? They're easy to defeat. So, just two of them. Not too bad. Yeah, it definitely looks like a world where um, things live. You must know too much. It must not escape. And it's not even going to give me a chance to say anything. He's just going to attack me straight off the bat. Um, I think I'm going to go in with uh, my main flagship here. See if I can do any damage to these uh, vessels. Ooh, it's, oh, it's got quite a powerful uh, thing there. It's only hit me for a few seconds. Not even that, like a few milliseconds. And it definitely did a lot of damage. So that weapon is very powerful, but so are my weapons. A lot of battery um, the Umgar ship has, but not much crew, and, uh, and that thing can be quite annoying to kind of dodge sometimes. That weird kind of, uh, ooh, don't want to get too close. You see it does quite a lot of damage. I wanted to try and turn there, but failing horribly. Come on, just hit it one more time. There we go. Lost quite a lot of crew there, but, you know, I still have 60, it's still fine. So another 174 RUs, and let's go and visit the Umgar homeworld. Uh, who's this? Uh, ooh, this, who's this guy? Don't like the music already. Right, is this Yumgar Homeworld? Who is this guy? What on earth's going on? Is this the talking pet? Yeah, this is talking pet. This is the talking pet that they had. Why is he talking? I thought they couldn't do that. One hundred percent. But unfortunately, the Unga are all too busy to come to the Hyperwave Caster right now, so uh, come back later, or much later. Uh, I thought this was the Unga homeworld. So what the hell is this guy doing? Peaceful creature, friendly alien life form. Erdogan called us talking pets. Until recently, I was employed on a dreadnought starship as a translator. Then, after the ship suffered severe damage from combat, we crashed at Alpha Pavonis. Miraculously, I survived. Who was rescued by an Ari Lu Lolile exploration vessel? The Ari Lu. They couldn't heal my most severe injury, so they brought me to the Boonga who possess superior bioengineering skills. Right, so a basically a talking pet uh, that is actually sentient. So this is basically like, I guess, the only one in the entire galaxy. Um, and this music suggests oh, that this is a bad guy in some way. That, oh well, I guess that means I'll have to oh, kill geez. now. I can't permit you to reveal my transformation. Erkwan might find out, and then my plans for revenge will be ruined. Well, I try revenge? To is this guy on his own? Or is he with the Umgar? So What's happening? Seek death at the hands of your enemy. What do you mean? Seek death at the hands of your enemy? Whoa, what's going on? What the hell? In addition, oh god. Your refusal to answer our transmissions is taken as an insult. Which shall earn you the reward of death, unless you respond immediately. Oh, so this guy, Talking Pet, has somehow managed to kind of mind trick us into going to the Urquan. Uh, where am I? Your insubordination is intolerable. You must obey the slave laws or face our gruesome punishment. Oh jeez, okay, I'm gonna have to uh, be quick here. Let's just say that I was under some mental compulsion because I need to understand what's going on here. It wasn't my fault. What did you say? Compulsion? What happened? Explain. Whoa, these guys seem pretty scared by what's just happened. Um, it was... It was this Wazkali little guy in Umgar space. He did it. It was his fault. What did the creature look like? Again, they seem pretty terrified by what's just happened. Um, it was one of your talking pets on brain steroids, pretty much. A talking pet with compulsion powers. This is grave 
dreams indeed. The worst in Morelia. Well, that can't be good, can it? The war against our cousins, the Gora. Then we shall deal with this Neo Dinyari, this talking pet. Alien Captain, you have done a service for us greater than you can possibly imagine. And should you spare my life? Your reward yeah, there we is go. continued survival. And if you return to Earth and destroy your vessel immediately, we will abolish all punishment against you and your species. Now leave and never return. Oh, that's a, a deal that I think I'm going to have to refuse for now. Um, oh my word, look at the Urquan. So we're in the middle of Urquan space. Look how big their area of influence is. Jeez, and it covers a Zotfok as well. Oh, I don't know if I want to go to the Zotfok pick anymore. Um, and we can't even reach Earth. Ah, but. That's not a problem anymore, because we have the quasi-portal. We've never used this before, let's see what happens. Oh, it just makes a little portal. Oh, look at that, we're back in quasi-space. But, um, geez, we're going to have to find our way back to Earth first. Um, I'm going to save the game here, and work out which one of these portals actually leads back to Earth. And I'll be right back. Right, so, it seems that the... Portal to Earth is the top of this little triangle here, goes next to Alpha Centauri, that's Alpha Centauri just to the left, and we can easily now make it back to Earth. So, um, geez, the Urquan, they were definitely terrified by that, What uh, my news there, they, you know, they didn't take that lightly. Um, they have to speed the war against the Korra, so this war with the Korra definitely is happening, as the Aralu said. Their cousins suggest that they're somehow related to them. Maybe, like, I don't know, maybe somehow good friends, good pals. Why would they be fighting, though? Why would, why would cousins be fighting? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. So, oh, why am I going to Earth? Never mind. I'm, I'm going to Starbase, but there seems to be a lot happening with the Urquan, and that new Denyari uh, thing, Neo Denyari, whatever, is definitely a threat to them. Let's talk to the commander. I'm at your disposal, Captain. I've been waiting to inform you of a new situation. Good news, Captain. With no announcement, a small fleet of Ari Lu Lolly Lay popped into space adjacent to our star base, scaring the hell out of the deep raider operator. But right now, I could kiss every one of those pale little weirdos because they gave us three skip vessels. Also, we have a major situation, Captain. As of a few days ago, all Spathy Starship Captains have vanished from our starbase. We don't know how or why, but until we receive replacements from Spathywa, you will be unable to commission any additional Spathy Eluder vessels for your fleet. Also, in the log of your voyage from Unzervald, I read that you encountered a tumbling red probe that attacked the Tober Moon, killing Captain Burton. Over the past few months, we have monitored an increasing number of these probes entering the system, and I'm afraid their population seems to be growing geometrically. If this continues, in a year, space will be crawling with these things. I recommend you treat this as a serious problem now, before it becomes a disaster. Discover who is producing these probes and stop them from creating any more. Right, so, first of all, the Aralu have given them three of their skiff vessels I think they were called so we've got three of them there you can see and we've also um, got a big warning about those probes and how they're you know expanding in in size you know in population hugely so we definitely need to find some way of stopping them find out who's creating the probes so that's something we definitely have to do um, but let's uh, offload some minerals but first of all let's analyze what we've acquired since the last visit um, which is our quasi space portal. The analysis reads as follows Subject quasi space portal spawner. Data Devices is a hybrid of different alien technologies, including Ari Lu and Urquan elements. Our tests show that this device temporarily creates a weakness in the fabric between hyperspace and a different unidentified dimension. The energy cost of this process is extreme, and since the unit's power supply is self contained, we cannot estimate how long it will remain functional. Summary, 
Use of this device will permit a starship to make transit to a different dimension. The hazards and benefits of this process are impossible to gauge without field study. That's the end of our scientist report. And now to offload the minerals I got from around the Aralu space. Uh, not too bad, actually. Um, got quite a few radioactives and exotics. Keep this up. We'll turn that flagship so we're up to 10,000 RU, killer. so we can buy a few new couple of things. Let's see how we do back in the... Uh, starship, outfit starship, and the shipyard. So there you go. Oh, they've only got six crew. Are you kidding me? That's pretty terrible. I uh, don't know if I really want to use those if they have only six crew, really. Uh, I don't think I can last for that long. Um, yeah, I think... The thing is, the ores have only got 16 crew, but their firepower is just so amazing that it's definitely worth it. Um, I suppose we can also scrap... We'll just scrap one arrow, see how much I use it gives me. Because it seems like one of those like types of risky ships. So it's giving me about, like, I'm going to say, like, maybe... How much? Yeah, it's giving me quite a lot of I use. I might as well take... I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to be using a, a ship that only has six crew, because that's pretty much, like, one or two hits, and they're down. So, you know, unless they've got... So I suppose they're pretty quick and maneuverable. I guess that's the whole idea, kind of dodge and then you know, attack when they've run out of battery, but I don't think I'm really that good at star control um, to be able to do that. So I'm just going to get a few more oars, ships, I think. Um, that should be good. Two spathy ships and two oars ships, that should um, definitely sort me out. I've also got, of course, those two fusion blasters with three dynamos on this flagship, if anything goes terribly wrong. Um, since we've got so many RUs, we're going to use them to get some fuel, fill up to the 210 mark, I guess, why not? Uh, which is pretty cool. So, over the 200 mark of fuel, which is a huge amount, and I think I might add another point defense laser um, just to add the additional point defense uh, damage. Basically, it adds an extra point uh, of damage per point defense laser. So, now we'll be doing double the amount of damage um, when we're using our point defense um, gun. There we go, we filled up all the how many slots is it like 16 slots I think it is and she's gonna get an extra lander uh, I'm gonna go back to shipyard I've got still got a few RU so I think I'm gonna fill up on another ores nemesis so now we've got three ores nemesis and uh, two spathy looters which is really good definitely sorted now got a lot of firepower and now we can head bravely into the wild world once again and uh, I think we can take down most enemies now, um, which is pretty cool. We've got a lot of firepower, so I'm going to save the game here, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Star Control 2.